Hello people and welcome to follow internet. Open up your favorite browser and type free infinity. Google display first rather infinity free. Click here. Hit register. Your email address. Password. Hit this checkbox. Hit sign up button. It will take your verification code, open up your mail, Verify email address, click here. Agree with privacy. Now, infinity free dashboard. Right corner, you can see create account, click here. Close this ad. We are going with subdomain. We don't have custom domain. This is very on you. Our subdomain name. Food. We can choose extension. In that case, loves to blog.com. I choose it check availability. Okay, this domain already chose anyone. We can choose another extension. Domain good dot voice.com is available okay you can leave as default it create account at the top of the bottom right corner click here Our account has been created with username this. Hit finish button. It will take couple of minutes. You need to refresh this page. Just wait five minutes. Now again refresh our browser. Open up our control panel, click here.
scroll down I approve click here now open up free SSL certificate right click your mouse open link in new tab at the left bottom corner new SSL certificate click here here you need to enter your domain name in my case our domain copy paste it under domain name you can check advanced options couple of provider you can see let's encrypt go get ssl zero ssl google trust self-signed also I want to go with let's encrypt create order at the top bottom corner click here click on it Let's encrypt does not support this domain name. Don't worry. We can use recommended provider. Again, create order. Our SSL order has been created. So next step, you can set up CNAME records automatically, but sometimes it doesn't work. So I prefer do it manually. Copy your record name and go back your control panel. Open your control panel. Follow. advanced you can see c name records click here c name record name list it here estimation Copy our domain name. This is perfect. Click add button. The C name record now added. Look here, they are saying that DNS changes take effort within one hour. So we need to wait for an hour. We will refresh this page. Yes, it's now ready. You can request certificate for our domain 
click here request certificate our certificate has been requested and will be available shortly again we need to wait for the certificate this time you can refresh the page to see if the certificate has been created it will take 10 to 20 minutes Well, SSL certificate is generated. Here you can see private key and certificate. Click on it to a little scroll. Private key and certificate. Go to the control panel now. Open up our control panel. Now search for SSO. Under security SSO, click here. Now click configure. It will take private key. Open up our SSL certificate tab and copy our copy this private key right click your mouse copy paste it under private key and again copy certificate This certificate, paste it here. This is our private key. Don't forget to upload key. Click here. Now, under certificate, copy our certificate. Paste it under certificate. Don't forget to upload certificate. Click on it. Now, go back our control panel. Now, open up your infinity free dashboard. Open up control panel. Our vista panel, little scroll down. Softculus apps installer click on it now we can install our wordpress website help of Softculus apps installer click on wordpress now i am going to click on blue button install and here we can choose our domain name by default it is selected now we can choose our protocol https admin username 
close admin password. Uh, bottom install. Click on it. Now we can go our administrative URL. It will redirect backend of our website. A lot of people we are successfully install WordPress on cloud. If you want to click on this URL, it will redirect front end of our website. Now what can I do? I can close this tab. our backend now we are going to clean up our wordpress click on it push it move to trust apply Pages, click on it. Privacy and policy, simple page. We don't need. Move to trust, apply. Plugins. First, we need to deactivate it. Hit apply button. Again, we check those plugin. Hit delete button. Apply. It will get this pop up. Hit OK. Now, under settings, click on it. We can change our site title. Numan I blog. Tagline. Hit save changes. Go to permalinks under settings. Click on it. Permalink structure. Hit post name. Save changes. Click on it. Appearance WordPress provide by default 2023, 2021, 2022 theme. First, we are going to delete this unnecessary theme. Twenty twenty three only activated now. Hit add new. We are going to install our premium theme. Upload theme, choose file, click on it. This is our theme and hit install now, click on it. Now hit activate button, 
Just click on it to activate him. Now we go back our front end, refresh our front end. Our extract theme successfully work. Now, if I open a new tab and search prints dot blogs to blog dot com, hit enter. Now we are going to building our website like this. Beautiful mega menu. Interactive is. with beautiful sidebar that included recent post with thumbnails recent comments recent reviews our authors social links beautiful footer if i go back our home Follow every single category has unique color. All popular post to display here, all top rated post to display here, and all latest post to display here, and the similar post. You can click on it to see this post. We are going to build this interactive website with the help of DB Extra Premium Theme that I will provide you. You can comment below. Now open up our backend. Users, click on it. Our admin user, we are going to edit. Our first name, no man. First name, Islam, and also you can display your full name, first name, last name that you want. In my case, full name. Here you can see display our full name now before it will display you can link your facebook twitter
you can choose color you can add your biographical information It responsive website that can make money. You can add debater. update profile button at the top of the bottom click on it now click on post to create our first post add new click on it to create a new post next next again next get started click on it now i can use db builder to create my post but i am using now default editor click on it now you need to add title for your first post how to make how to make a website from wordpress now i can write dummy content for our post at the top of the right corner under post click on it categories add new category create a category new customization Hit enter our category created now add couple of tags for our post separated by comma now you can add feature image for your post select files Set default set feature image, click on it. Under excerpt, you can write an excerpt. This 
is an overview of our post. And choose format. It's okay for me. You can also check feature post, like author box, and so on. Now you can check this review box content. You can write summary for your post. News and blog website. You can read. 80% and breakdown responsive and I want to rating DB ninety five percent. Now hit publish button at the top of the right corner. Click on it again. Hit publish button. Now you can hit view post. This is our first post. You can share and also you can rating. Author box. You can leave a comments. This theme customization basically our category. Click on it. This category belongs this post that we are created now. If you want to hit more to read more. If I click on logo, it will redirect home of our website. You can see beautiful social icon, interactive search bar. Now we are going back our dashboard to create another post. Click on it. Open posts. Add new. Click on it. Before create our post, open a new tab. Tab dot openai dot com. Hit enter. 
this theme for WordPress news and raw website. Hit enter. This is our title. Use default editor. Now you can copy all of this content. Now I'm going to copy, right click, your mouse, copy. Paragraph. Paste it here under paragraph. Similarly, now you can write summary of this post. Okay. Maybe I'm giving 95 80% Open your post settings. It will take excerpt. Hit publish button here. You can add tags. I am going to get now scroll up and hit publish button at the top right corner. Now hit view post.
this is heading of our post created by author name timestamp category and comment section ratings summary of our post couple of ratings that are provided by author if you hit previous button it will redirect our first post that we have created before if i go back our home can see popular this post and this post have a rating and this is our latest post now if you want to change every different category different unique color you can do it open up your dashboard Click on posts. Categories, click on it. This is our category. Click on edit. you can add description of this category and uh, also you can choose a different color for this category hit update button If I refresh our content, you can see color display and also you can change this latest color, go back categories. Click on it. You can change every different category with unique color. Hit update. Now, if I refresh our browser again. Thank you for watching this video. I like TV extra theme for that reason. This theme can customize almost anything that you need. Now open up our backend. Go to extra under category builder. Click on it. This is our home page view. Edit, click on it. Now, under our category layout, this is our category layout. Under categories, we are going to add category.
you can locate your sidebar right or left by default right side and uh, if you don't need sidebar you can choose no sidebar also i want to go with default right If I update our home page category, click update. Our category layout updated. If I go back our front end, try to refresh our front end. Nothing changed display here. Go back our back end. This is feature post slider. Insert module. Feature post slider. Click on it. Categories all. You can limit your post by default six. Hit save and exit. Now, if I hit update. Now refresh our front end. Look at the changes. Now you can see there are slider. This is a post slider. There are only one post that have featured post for that there are nothing to display for that reason you need to create up to six post so you need to create post If I go back our dashboard and open up post, add new post. The help of chat GPT will create our post. This is our heading of our post. Use default editor. Top right corner post, click on it. You can see there are nothing display feature post option. So for that, first we are going to add couple of tags.
Yep. Add your post on feature post. This method is very tricky. Click on this toggle block inserter. Search featured. Image. Click on it. Now uh, move up. Can upload files. Bottom right corner, hit select. Publish. Click on it again. Publish button. Click on it. Now go back our content. Try to look. This is our post that we have created now. Okay, there is something extra coming. This we don't need it. We only need this beautiful slider. So for that, go back our dashboard. extra category builder click on it home page category click edit Our layout have extra post slider. We are created this by default. This comes so we don't need it. Now single feature post slider. Okay, hit update. Our category layout updated. Now, if I try to refresh our front end, now looks beautiful. Post slider. If you want to change post automatically you can do it open up your category layout this is our featured post slider module settings click on it inside featured post slider module setting click on advanced scroll down Autoplay, enable autoplay, autoplay speed 5 millisecond. You can change it. Now we don't need to change anything. It's 
save and exit again update our category layout now if i try to refresh our content Now you can see this happens after our 5 millisecond post change. This is beautiful post slider. Now after this slider, we are going to add another section here that comes with categories is our category in that case we can hit add row new row click on it insert module Click on it, post carousel. Categories, you can select all and also your created categories. Save and exit. Remember, we are created our post carousel at the bottom now update now refresh our front end to display what happened can see this post carousel display here now again go back our category layout again hit this add row button click on it insert module tab post click on it add new tab it will take all category save add new tab under category we are going to choose in customization category add new tab under category we are going to choose another category that we have created before what save now save and exit update click on it Our category layout updated now try to refresh our content this is our post slider and uh, we are created before this post carousel and now we have created this tab post you can want to see this category click on it this list display a couple of posts that you are create and this is another category 
you can see every category has unique color that you chose and you can also change it anytime now we are going to create our mega menu for this menu for that go back our backend under appearance click on it And see minus click on it first we need to create our menu our menu name how you can remember primary menu we need to please in customization what is Add to menu. We don't have any piece. Now, top of the bottom, save menu, click on it. extra mega menu click on it you can choose mega menu to feature and recent list also our wordpress category select mega menu to feature and recent list this means two feature post are displayed and also recent list display now save menu now if i try to refresh our front end this is our mega menu now you can see if i there are nothing because our this category belongs without feature post so for that but uh, theme customization category have to feature post but there are nothing any recent post if i have any recent post that display here You can see this trending bar display post heading if i click on this toggle it will display nothing but we can fix it if you want to learn how to add a recent post here this is pretty simple job for that you just create another post Add new go back our chat GPT prompt
this is our item of our post use default editor copy now paste it under paragraph click on post you can choose in customization category add tags modification db extra in now we are going to add featured image click on it upload files select files Featured image, click on it. Excerpt for that. Based on it. We don't need to check feature post, just hit publish. Again, hit publish. Now, if I try to refresh our front end, now if I try to now you can see our mega menu with a recent post display here if I have another recent post that display here also similarly you can do it Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about blogging news and a magazine website like this, we are going to build another video because it will take long time. Thank you for watching this. Please subscribe our channel.